Hi, everybody. About six months ago, by the time you're watching this, I did the best DASA that you could actually CCW carry, and that is the uh, CZP-01 versus the HKP-2000. Not all firearms on my channel are mine. There's your disclaimer again. I had to reborrow uh, pistols, whatnot. I worked armed security. I have a lot of law enforcement friends. Hey, yo, homie, is that my briefcase? Yeah, you want it back? Yeah, you want it back? CZ fanboys, CZ fanboys. I did. And so I was able to get this because contrary to some commenters, the CZ was shooting way, way, way high and occasionally throwing one way off. And uh, no, it was not me. If you look how well I was shooting the P2000. So um, the friend sent it back to CZ. It took a little while, but they repaired whatever the problem was. I think a bushing was damaged or something to that effect. Uh, he's only shot it once since then, said it was okay. But we will see in my hands in this way it gives CZ more of a fair shot. So these are really kind of the best DASA pistols that are light enough to carry. This is getting a little heavy loaded. This is 25 ounces unloaded, 27 and a half unloaded, and really depends on what magazines. Uh, there's different ones available. Uh, you have in it, how many rounds you have in it, etc. So, um, but you can do it. I might do some from appendix today. Uh, my belly's gotten a bit bigger, so I'm more comfortable carrying something this wide at outside waistband now or inside waistband, uh, but in a generic leather holster because, you know, you have safety there that new appendix carriers may want. When you decock, always decock and safely reholster with your thumb on the back of the hammer and the hammer down, and that is one of the advantages of DASA. Besides that, you get that nice, crisp, single-action pull for everything other than the first shot. And uh, also, it gives you some people management skills when you're stressed out to uh it gives you a little leeway uh, for that longer heavier first double action pull so let's see if the cz can redeem itself which one do you think is going to win today all right, guys, bringing you the Hammer Fire DASA stuff. Make sure to look at my full-figured models video, the kind of the unboxing tabletop type of video uh, I had, as well as the range review I did with the military's 115 really hot plus P plus-ish uh, M1152 ammo. So look at that range review if you want bigger DASA love. I got it for you. Now, our small stuff in like the first video, I just started with groups as seven yards. I'm going to do the best five out of six is typically how I do it now, just to kind of get familiar before I challenge myself with some drills and tests and other stuff. And then you can see the difference in the pistols. All right, starting with the P01, seven yards. We'll go for the uh, bald head on the left. Starting in double action to begin with. Pretty much dead on, and I'm debating between a six o'clock and a combat hold. Either one at this range is fine. Uh, and those last couple I dropped a little bit low. I think that was five or six. Let me see. And so if I did the best five out of six there, that's a real tight group uh, for me anyway, offhand. Um, so it's obviously not shooting way up high like it was originally. So it's been fixed by CZ. And I wanted to give CZ the props for taking care of that. All right, now with the HKP 2000, seven yards again, same thing with a Raug Rug. That's a Rug, hot European uh, 124 grain. Half inch low in the nose. I think it's a combat hold actually on this pistol. I'm gonna aim a little higher. Yeah, that's dead center between the eyes. Combat hold. Decock on the back. Let's see how I did with the P2000. 
And if I did group size of the best five, that's really good. Or if I did it this way, that's really good. And about the same, I would say pretty darn similar other than it was rushing a little bit. So pretty darn similar. Either one is capable of some very good accuracy if you are. All right, guys, in the enclosed range, working from outside waistband holster, tolster holster the first time, the tolster contour holster. It's really the most concealable, comfortable outside waistband holsters they are. To begin with, I'm going to try and do the fast test. It's a test for the first time. Look at Lucky Gunner, though it's supposed to be cold. I'm not cold. I did 50 rounds of 22 and what, 12 rounds of 9 millimeters so far. So I'm not exactly cold, but I've never done this before. And these are my pistols. Um, so I want you to know that we always use Targets Online, hard card start Targets. Get 15% off with code Dan the Wolf Matt. Targets Online. Get 15% uh, off with Tolster Holster. Get a few Tolster Holsters. Get a P320 Tolster Holster. Like this is just saying. And uh, anyway, guys, and also access night sights. Neither of these do, but my personal pistols get access night sights. Uh, code Dan the Wolf and get 10% off your phone. Like All right, so with the fast test, there's two headshots to a 3x5 card, slide lock, emergency reload. And I don't practice my reloads a lot, so my time's not like the two seconds it should be. Practice emergency slide lock reload, and then four qu quicker to the body. So draw. Bang, bang, headshot, reload, bang, 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 bang. Kind of that tempo to the body after that. Look at Lucky Gunner's Shoot Better series for that and other great drills you should do, though. This is more of a uh, evaluations test. Seven, ten, five, seven, and ten seconds are kind of your goals on this. I have no idea what I will be. In the CZ, I'm going to be at a disadvantage because even though I have XL hands, I don't have the longest fingers, and I have to throw it sideways, rotate it to hit that slide release, and barely even from that hold can get the slide stop slide release, the mag release, and the slide stop. So I can't hit either uh, because the grip's a little too fat, uh, even for me. Uh, something to keep in mind. Fail to go in the battery. That'll fuck up your day pretty good on trying to get a time drill in. Hmm. Questionable. Let me set this up again. Let's try it again. So I got it on the time. Very spicy drill, 8.22. I want to get under seven to get intermediate. At least two headshots are clean. Uh, only three out of the four body shots are clean, though. So that already puts me down one second uh, even past. So 9.22, so that's still like a beginner level run. It's my first time ever doing it. This is hard. Try the fast test. All right, guys, going to try and run it with the P2000. Now this has the pad release, so I use my right middle finger. Reload, and I am able to hit the slide release pretty good, I think. Uh, I got to make sure I remember what pistol it is. All right, let's see the times. Better on still slow on my draw. Got to work on that 7.76. 7.76. And I'm just using the USPSA type zone, even instead of an uh, IDPA type circle. But four good body hits, so those are all too low for me. You know, I'm hard on myself. But only one of the headshots is good. The second shot was down low, and that's a negative two seconds. So that would drop me still at a beginner level under the 10 seconds. 7.76 plus 2, 9.96, something like that. Uh, but it's pretty spicy stuff. <laughs> Slight advantage, I think, to the HK because I can reach the controls better, and that's individual. Let's do another round, but this time from a generic leather appendix style uh, holster. Uh, just generic leather. Let's see, starting with the CZ. Very slow, I can know that was so slow and I had some visual distractions going on. 8.46, so the splits at the end were 40 splits, so it needed to be 0.25 splits. So I'm going too slow with the body shots uh, for one thing. 8.46, 8.46. 
8.46, but clean on the hits at least. I mean, I'm not used to using a 3x5. I usually use whatever the target has. A 3x5 is pretty hard. Uh, clean hits there, one, two, three, and four, but all good and within an eight inch pie for sure. A zone uh, shots there. So all clean, 8.48 to real slow. You want under seven seconds to be intermediate and five seconds to be a smoking guy. All right, HK from Leather Appendix Generic. All right, felt a little faster. Some bobbles for sure. Faster draw at time, not great. Uh, faster follow up shot. Super slow reload, kill me. 8.13 overall, 8.13 overall. Uh, they had a ridiculously slow, like over three and a half second reload instead of a two second reload. And four body shots are clean. One, two, three, four though. Three of these are lower to me. I want more upper thoracic. Uh, but the headshot's not clean. One's clean, and the second one dropped too low. So negative two seconds even puts me 8.13 plus two. Plus two for a miss headshot. Plus one, I think, second. I believe that is what it is. Look at Lucky Gunner uh, for a miss body shot. So uh, this is hard stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, before I rock and roll with movement on the two targets or so and all that, uh, let me stay at seven and do a split build drill, this time changing it up, starting with the HK first. Uh, split build drills, four to the body, followed by two to the head. Outside waistband, toaster holster. Here we go. Ready. I think I may have missed one of the headshots a little high, trying to make it harder. Going on a three by five card. Let's see our times. All right, one on two to first shot. I definitely got to speed up my draw time. 4.16 overall. I can do better than that. I can do a light run now a couple times, but that got me under the 4.95 to get a dark pin pass if I made all my hits. So by Gabe White standards, that's a dark pin run. That's not bad. I, and I uh, have made light pin before. Uh, if you look at my previous video, uh, 357 is 45 part three. Look at my original Gabe White standards video, nine versus 40 versus 45, Fair Smith and Wesson caliber battle to learn out more about these. But all four very good hits here and two perfect on the three by five card headshots in 4.16. So good job with the HK. I might have misspoke. 4.16 is under, it was a dark pin run under the 495 Dark pin run time, 375 from concealment is the light pin run. All right, now CZ, and I'm going from 3 o'clock, the first attempt at this split bill drill. I said throw out a couple places. And then... Throw out a couple places. Well, that's not how you do it. I totally forgot what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was going to do two and four, two of the body, four of the head. I got... <laughs> totally brain farted on that and I just lost the time I think uh, so it doesn't really matter because that's not a really honest run so I'm just going to say that's a fail between the bump up and then pause bump up bump up uh, technically I'll clean four very good upper thoracic here technically because both broke the 3 by 5 card and I think line breaks uh, count one more tap slip build drill. Start with the CZ this time from Appendix uh, Generic Leather Holster. I think that last shot might have been a miss. Let's check our times. Uh, 3.96. Okay, anyway, 3.96. That's not bad. Uh, one, two, three, A zone, but one just outside. I forget what the penalty is. Um, getting fast drill and split build drills mixed up right now. Two headshots are good in three, nine, six. So, I so that last run with the CZ was a 3.96 with one just outside the A. So that's a uh, plus a 0.25 plus a 0.25. So 4.21, which is still one under the 4.95 for a dark pin pass. So that was a dark pin pass with the CZ. Uh, same thing, appendix, uh, generic leather. With the HK here. Let's see if I can push a little faster. Whew. I don't.
don't see my second head shot. I hope that's in. 4.06. So still not a 375 to get a, uh, a dart pin. Let's see, 4.06. Pretty good, though. So three good, but I saw that they were there because I didn't have the best grip. Rolled it, did my four shots, still A zone. There, little extra correction. Unfortunately, one of my head shots is just a bit too low. If I was using the four in circle, that might be in. Uh, but today I'm doing three by five card because I was doing it with the fast drill, making things harder. Uh, old Navy Seal, early Team Six type thing, using the three by five for the head and four by six for the body. Uh, I'm not sure what the penalty is on the headshot. I think that's still minus 2.5. So 4.06 plus 0.25, 4.31, I think. 4.31, that's still a dark pin pass with the HK. CZ did it just a tiny bit faster, though. All right, guys, range alone again, so let's rock and roll. I got three targets, but they're not kind of evenly spaced. I got two on the right, one on the left. I'm actually going to start as if I'm searching from the John Wake modified car position. And yes, I find it very useful for searching and other things, and it's very real. And look at, uh, probably on Viking Samurai's channel and also on myself, uh, on my own channel, Dan the Wolfman, are going to do a techniques of John Wick, including some footage of me shooting from the car position. And there are a lot of reasons why. And look at all the martial te arts techniques, submissions, throws, and all that. Uh, check out, I'll probably be on Viking Samurai's channel. And I did a lot of editing of the footage, like 30 minutes of the coolest footage, and on my channel as well. So let's rock and roll. She's got one on the lip. I forgot to paste up. Right, let's rock and roll with the HK first. And him on the left is much taller, adjusted fairly well for the height difference. Just over 15 seconds total, it looks like. Yeah, just over 15 seconds, maybe. I'll see if I can get it again with the CZ. So I think it was just over 15 seconds, I believe. Let's see if that matches up later when I replay it. Four good upper thoracic hits. That's a USPSA A zone there. And i am got most of them in or near the other smaller inner box two perfect headshots on the three by five card one two three good upper thoracic one a little too low for my liking on her two perfect headshots and uh, obviously i'm changing and moving and changing the distances now he's taller adjusted pretty well i could have adjusted a little bit more i got two in the heart uh one there and one just outside the inner box on the spine but good four good upper thoracic hits on this guy and two good headshots uh, as well. Pretty good. So, uh, there we rock and roll with the HK6, emergency reload 6. Let's try and do the same thing with the CZ. Alright, let's run close to the same thing with the CZ. So I'm going to restart it again. I think I ran that as six reload six instead of nine reload nine, so we can't really compare them. Whoops, that's what happened. That's what threw me off. Or anyway, four good upper thoracic hits on her. That one's a little bit high, uh, but four good hits on her. Good headshot, so they're not very comparable. Three good upper thoracic hits on her. Good headshot. And this guy, I uh, I knew it had been a while since he got any servings, right? Like, you know, there was a big lag there with uh, not being able to flick the magazine out. I should get more John Wiki with it. And uh, anywhere there's three there. And, uh, you know, that's that still would be, if I'm a tall guy, good upper thoracic hit. So, uh, unfortunately, I didn't run it correct, quite right. All right, nine and reload nine. Let's try that. And uh, the, I'm curious if it bobbles with this magazine on the reload as well. It's having a little feeding issues, not just with that mag, uh, but, you know, just chambering it. It seems to have a little bit of feed issues. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. <clears throat> let's get our wick on here.
Alrighty. Seemed like a fairly smooth run. Fairly smooth run. I think I got pretty good hits. And 15.86, I think, with the HK. On the run, I was like at 15.22. So very, very similar, uh, you know, with some slight variables, I'm sure. So all in all, pretty good hits. One, two, three, four, four good upper thoracic A zone hits. Two really good headshots on her. Four good upper thoracic hits. Uh, one, two, one's a little low for me, but, but it is USPSA A zone style. And two perfect headshots, so happy about that. And then on the taller bad guy, instead of his chest here, his upper thoracic's higher. We got one, two, three good A zone. One B that's, nah, it's not great, but I mean, this is actually like a thinner target. So that wouldn't be bad. And two really good headshots there. So pretty similar times, pretty similar hits with only one or two being a slightly questionable, uh, but definitely not bad. And obviously I was doing a lot of movement, a slide lock emergency reload. Um, some of it from the modified car position, which I do like up close and turning corners and stuff. So your gun's not out there to be grabbed, uh, as well as it gives you a good field of view when you're scanning left and right or when you're going upstairs and things like that. I think I got about, that's almost a hundred rounds. I think I got like six rounds left. All right, guys, let me try the Yohomi drill because you liked it so much in the first one, and it's HK drill. I don't have a suit on. It's easier to throw open than lift the shirt. But anyway, uh, HK first. I found a couple loose rounds, so everyone has a four brass followed by two steel case just because I'm curious if they run steel. Hey, yo, homie, is that my briefcase? Yeah, you want it back? I blew the shit out of her chest. I'm gonna call those good upper thoracic because it looks like I, I hit, yeah, actually I hit, I hit in her A box, it looks like. Let's see if I got the time. Yo homie Joe, 1.46, the first shot, 20 split. It's pretty nice from the hip. Um, 202, a 36 transition, 24 split, 37, 65, 3.28 seconds overall, 3.28 seconds overall with the HK. Let's see if I can figure out the hits. It looks like I got there and there in her A box. I'm thinking, yeah, that's clean. It looks like there and there in her A box, most likely. I see a hole there and there. Uh, and a perfect headshot when I came back to inner A box, so A plus zone, inner A box. Look at that double tap. Look at that double tap. HK, good stuff. Perfect uh, T box headshot there. So uh, pretty good in the Yohomi drill, Yohomi. All right, guys, wanted to show you the times of the last run since I got it there. 1.46, first shot, 166, second shot, 202, third shot, 226, fourth shot, fifth shot, which it matters in the movie if you're comparing it, 2.63, 2.63 seconds to the fifth shot because the sixth shot didn't happen until later after the guy was done, but that's not how I run the drill. So 3.28 overall, but 2.63 to the fifth shot. Hey, yo, homie, is that my briefcase? Yeah, you want it back? Ooh, I felt pretty fast. That felt pretty damn fast. I think that was pretty damn fast. The shirt got caught up a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. CZ fanboys. CZ fanboys. CZ fanboys. I did faster. 1.42 to first shot. Most of 1.61 of the second shot. 19 instead of 20. 1.91 to the third shot. 30 split. 209 on the fourth shot, 235, 235, 2.35 to the fifth shot. I don't know if that beats Tom Cruise or not. Was he even two seconds flat? That's pretty clo uh, close. Uh, is it Ken Hackathorn who needs to let me know about that? Not Ken Hackathorn. Uh, 2.35 to the first shot, 2.92 to the sixth shot. Now maybe it was a little faster because it's the second time I ran it. What do you think, CZ fanboy?
in all perfect A zones there and there. Inner A zone, A plus box, I need to start calling that. Look at that beautiful split, that beautiful pair, that beautiful double tap. Two inner A zone, inner A zone, A plus, the big ones, the USPSA uh, A zone size. Good headshot, a little high, because I had the 3.5 there. It should have been there, but that's still a very good headshot, breaking the line, technically. On the inner one, and perfect in the 3 by 5 perfect T-box in her eyebrow over here. So that was pretty smoking fast. Ladies and gentlemen, so in this second part, I think I give the CZ a fair chance to redeem itself. Uh, I'm glad it, it took a while, but I'm glad they got it back to my buddy, and all seems good. I'd have to compare them. I think they're very, very, very close. I think I'm slightly better maybe with the P2000 because I carry the similar larger P30L on duty um, for now, which might be changing soon, but anyway, uh, so I'm a little more familiar with the controls. I can reach the controls better as I showed you in doing the, uh, fast drill for the fast test for the first time, which I wasn't awesome at. Um, so I think I can shoot them pretty equally. Maybe the P2000 just slightly better because I can reach controls better and I have a little more faith in it, maybe because of what happened the first time, but a little more faith in its feeding reliability. I think the CZ can be a little pickier in the overall length of rounds and whatnot in feeding. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about that and uh, please always thumbs up, share, subscribe, get down there in the comments. Let me know what you think. Fight the algorithm. Stay strapped or get clapped, and let me know down below. Say CZ or HK. Say P01 or say P2000. HK, are you going to bring the P2000 back in a P202025 with more grip texture and a light LEM trigger with night sights ready to go from the factory? Please let me know. I'm the guy who broke the HK Micro News uh, six weeks before TFB TV, by the way. So look at the HK Micro video. Look at the P30L video. Look at the HK45C Navy SEAL gun videos, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe.